they uh, we ain't lying about being abused and shit, bro. I'm not famous. I'm not nothing. I'm just a regular nigga telling y'all a story because famous people brought my story up. That's all, all I'm here for. I'm just here to tell y'all a story that famous people brought up that I've been living with my whole damn life. I'm an Aries. Uh, I'm sorry, shit, shit don't phase me, Nick. It don't phase me, but I am, I ain't perfect, though. I ain't gonna sit here and say, don't phase me. I can't keep a woman for shit. I fucking and don't tolerate certain shit. I, I over paranoid a lot. I think everybody out to get me sometime. Like it comes with its kinks. It comes with its kinks. What helps you in your childhood trauma? Life. Life help with that. Going through life, seeing shit, experiencing different shit, noticing it wasn't your fault. That shit help a lot. Nah, I ain't mad at Krishan for bringing it up. I ain't mad at mine at all. I've been boarded up, so why can't I get mad about something she's been boarded up? I've been boarded up. <clears throat> yeah, Tia been my aunt. I met been my mom friend definitely over 20 years. <laughs> definitely. Yeah, so he believes by neighbors and all that shit. And all that. Never thought about it in my therapy. Do that shit on the rug, too. That's what I said. Life is crazy. They threw my mother under the rug. They fucking locked me up for a fake charge. Throw that under the rug. They did some crazy shit to me. Life is wild, bro. That shit is wild. And they tried to say I kidnapped the girl I was in a relationship with for six years. <laughs> Lonely. And they said I kidnapped her while I was in the house with my daughter I had full custody of that literally was only about four or five years old. So what, man, my daughter, oh, this bitch just kidnapping bitches? What the fuck? This is wild. <laughs> this is what, yeah, life is wild, bro. I can be cool to my uncle to apologize, of course. Of course. If he know he was wrong for that shit, and he know he, he's not, that wasn't right. Yeah, of course, of course, it's family. But if he gonna sit there and just doing it because a camera on you and you saying sorry, I don't respect you, my nigga. When I'm actually grown now. We can go in the yard and fight and all that, bro. I ain't gonna bullshit you. Anytime, I've been telling niggas that. We grown now. We step in that yard, get it off our chest. If y'all. So Krishan Rock Nephew, he was just speaking about how he not mad that Krishan brought it up like she was going at her sister and just said look you was doing this and that why the hell are you speaking on me worry about that like it's wild as hell like, that's all i got to say about this i never deal with this i never knew anybody that talked to me about this that went through this so i could only imagine how it feels for somebody to go through this i could say that i'm lucky enough that i was brought up overprotective like people used to call me a mama's boy growing up Cause like how my mama used to be over me, making sure I was doing this or not doing that or coming in the house before the streetlights came on. Or if she felt like somebody was doing too much, I couldn't hang out with them no more. Like my mama was on there. As a kid, I used to be mad. Like why I can't hang out with this person? Or why I can't spend the night over there? But not knowing, I'm a kid. So I'm not reading or picking up on people's bad habits or their parents or like drugs or cigarettes, I wasn't picking up on that. My mama was. She was like, no, you're not going down that street. You're not doing this. And I am so thankful for that. Because like Krishan nephew was saying, he can't even keep a woman. He got to deal with the trauma. He don't know who to trust. You know what I'm saying? Always thinking somebody is out to get him. That shit is crazy, bro. And that whole family, it sounds like everybody had a little bit of trauma in that family whether it was from drugs or other things. It says so many people who not famous go through this every day and don't got a platform as big as Krishan's to speak about this.
I respect them for being open and honest about what happened because most men want to keep this to themselves, especially if they feel like it was traumatic. And a lot of dudes don't even know it's traumatic. They will brag on it. Yeah, I let this older girl did this, or this lady 20 years older than me did this when I was 14. Like, no. She took advantage of you. But most men don't look at it like that because it's not the other way around. It's not a girl being taken advantage of. So the men think it's cool. But nah, that's another form of trauma. And if you don't deal with it early, it's going to affect you for a long time, man. What y'all think about this, buddy?